My grandfather Robert Steen started the vineyard in 1976 when he planted uh, Block and Shiraz. That's where we get our reserve wines from. Early this year brought the third generation of our family into the winery, being myself Jacob Steen. Uh, in January uh, I started as winemaker here, which is uh, really important for our family's tradition to keep going on. My personal journey started when I was a young boy, uh, coming up to Mudgee to my grandfather's farm. Many young winemakers travel all over the world in order to get experience from um, different winemakers and uh, working with different vineyards in order to gain experience to bring back to their home winery. I've managed to fit in seven vintages away from home, so I've travelled to the Rheingau in Germany, uh, also to Barolo in Italy uh, to work with um, Barbaresco, uh, Nebbiolo, which are some of the great, great varieties of Mudgee. Uh, I found my ancestors and homeland of Germany to be one of my greatest experiences in the industry up till now. They really taught me a lot about raising, which I've been able to bring back to our home vineyard. What I have in my glass is the 2008 Robert Steen Riesling. It's won four gold medals and three trophies up till now. This Riesling has got a, a great crystal clear colour. It's got aromas of floral, some herb, lime juice flavours. Um, it's got a classical Riesling structure, nice mineral acidity, uh, fairly long in the palate. Um, it's got residual sugar of 8 grams per litre and a fairly high total acid. Um, it's a classic Germanic style um, half dry Riesling, they call it Habtrocken. Often wines have very short palates which the taste sensation is only for a fairly short time in your mouth. I find this Riesling to have a fairly long, long palate and you can often taste it in your mouth for 10 minutes after drinking. We've managed to export Riesling, dry and sweet, back to Germany, which is really Riesling's homeland. So that's been really great for us, which is really good for the Australian wine environment too. So I think the Mudgee wine industry is in a great situation at the moment. Many Sydney people and even international people are really starting to learn about Mudgee wines. We seem to grow a fairly wide range of varieties, which is also another strong point of the Mudgee region. Uh, we do red wines uh, exceptionally well. However, in the last few years, uh, some Riesings have been making a, a really good stance in the international wine market. I think the best thing with winemaking is you've really got to have a great product to start with. So um, making great wine really starts in the vineyard. If you've, if you've got great grapes, it's really easy to make a good wine. If you take a minimalist approach, um, the grapes in the vineyard really show and express in the wine, so wine's really made in the vineyard, according to me.